I'm Trey. I'm with Multirotor. I'm Thomas. I'm with Multirotor. And we're going to take a tour of the Student Design Center. So Design Center is home to 20 different student design teams. We're all student organizations, but we're not like part of a class. We're just for fun. So uh, okay. we all... So you don't get credit for it. Right. It's just we look nerds and we like building stuff. But like anything that you design, you can keep yourself. Like you can get a patent on stuff if you want to. And that's, you get to keep that. Yes. Patents and stuff that we get, we, yes. Uh, the physical materials, the drones we build have to stay with the school. Well, you can build another one at your house if you wanted to. Exactly. It's, it's about the knowledge that we gain. Ah. There we go. There's the whole educational part. Exactly. All right. This is the computer lab, computer Ooh. learning center. We have every type of CAD you could ever possibly need on one of these computers. You guys know what CAD is? Oh, yeah. All right, so we can do our first phase of design in here, and then as we start to get designs ready to go, we can move out into the shop. Behind you here is our 3D printer lab and our carbon fiber winding machine. Wow! Uh, teams can get together and we can collaborate and share resources, so stuff like 3D printers, stuff like our uh, carbon fiber room, our welding room, we can all collaborate and we don't have to buy one ourselves if we were going to just do a couple little That's parts good. on it. So this one is Mars Rover design team. So they're not going to actual Mars, they're going to Utah, which is close enough. Yeah. And the coolest part about this is they build all of this stuff from the ground up. So the carbon fiber was made here, all the electronics on the inside were made here. Oh, so even all this stuff. Yes, all like that is from, machined aluminum. from billet uh, aluminum. Yes, Baja builds a car. Yeah. The goal of their car is to drive as far as it possibly can before it falls apart. So you can see on the poster up there, they really, really put it through the ringer. Would you like to sit in the car? Yes, of course. Oh yeah. And this is another one that was designed from the... Yep. Well, that's wheel nice, Trey. <laughs> Got him again. Next team, this one is Formula Electric. There's two Formula teams. There's also a Formula Combustion, and they're housed in a different place just because they take up so much space. But this car runs on a battery that they built and designed. A ba they built the battery? Yes. They did all the chemistry for the battery, um, and then, of course, all the frames and stuff. This wing was really cool. We were one of the very first teams to have... It looks like it's a little out of shape right now have a dynamic wing. So what they can do is on a straightaway, they can pull this wing up so they can get some more speed. Oh, I see on, it's on an armature. Yep, and then on a, a turn or a curve, they can put that wing down so they have more drag on the back and they can take that turn tighter. What does this big red button do? It says off. Oh yes, they all have to have emergency if stops if the like battery catches on fire or something, somebody can run up and hey stop and they can get the driver out. I have a hard easy. time resisting large buttons. Do May it. I push it? Do Even it. Even though it's not gonna do anything? Do it. Oh, it's so oh. satisfying. Okay. All right. They had a really great opportunity to go to the Tesla headquarters in, in Fremont, California, where Tesla showed them the industry standards for building lithium-ion batteries. And you have to buy all the materials yourself, like the lithium? Yeah, they actually, they kind of already started the process by purchasing a 3D printer that can print um, dielectrically safe and insulative materials such as PET. Okay. One more question. Sure. Why am I wearing nerdy protective <laughs> things and you are not? Because I was passing through and I am actually covered under different liability than you Oh are. yeah, that, that was <laughs> okay. Over here we've got solar car. Uh, their solar panels are in storage right now, but this entire top of the car gets covered with solar cells. Oh yes, I've seen these. I think this one tops out at like 40. Okay, but it can go forever, right? It can go hopefully forever, yes. Wow, how long does it take one of these larger projects to come to be real? Oh gosh, these guys, they've you know, had this car since I've been here, so about five years. Um, okay. They, work, they keep the frame and they work on the internals. Oh, it's got a horn. Yep. Let's hear the horn. <laughs> Nerdy horn. <laughs> Steel Bridge is working on building a bridge. This is their one from last year. For their competition, they'll set up um, in an area that has a fake river in it, and they'll have well, whichever team sets up their bridge the fastest gets more points. And so the goal is to test its strength? Yes. And so at some point it fails? Uh, they'll do it to a deflection of one inch. So when the middle of the bridge is one inch lower than when it started, they're done. Oh, okay, so it doesn't have to never, break all the way through. Never actually break. Because I was going to suggest, instead of over water, do it over lava. Oh. Wouldn't that motivate them to make a better bridge? I think it would. I think it would. <laughs> we have a composites lab right here, and the door is closed, which means somebody's probably in there working on a project right now. Okay. But if you've ever made carbon fiber, it starts out as a fabric, sort of like the stuff on your shirt. Right. And then you lay it on the table, you cover it in epoxy, and you'll vacuum seal the whole thing down to a table, and you can get a plate like one of the ones you'll see later in the presentation. So how do you get the raw carbon fiber come in a roll? It comes or? in a spool, just like a regular piece of fabric. I'll buy it by the meter. Okay. The yard. So before putting all the resin in and everything, could you make a suit with it? You could. You could. We make Carbon some, fiber we, suit, We man. have made some crazy shapes. Lots of the seats in the cars you saw were custom carbon fiber. The yeah. wheel are custom carbon fiber. As long as we can make a mold for it, we can make it out of carbon Excellent. fiber. Excellent. You'd be the, the carbon fiber knight walking around. You know? Yeah, that's what, can you make me a carbon fiber suit of armor? We'll, we'll work on that. We'll Thank get right you. on that for you. So back here is where the magic happens. When you make the carbon fiber, you get just a square or a rectangle or whatever kind of shape. 
and then we can put it on this big guy, and it shoots a stream of water really, really, really hard, so much so that it could cut through quarter-inch steel plates. And so we oh, you got one of those? Of yes. So you can see kind of some of the stuff it can do. Yeah, and it makes a really clean cut. Yes. Missouri S&T actually has a whole bunch of the patents on this sort of technology. Um, I don't know where this machine was built, but uh, you'll, if you drive around campus, you can see statues that are stone that's a couple feet thick they cut through with a water jet machine. Jesse is our president. Hey, oh, hey. He's busy hey, running Jesse. our event over hey, there. Hey, Jesse, he's up there somewhere. <laughs> hey, Jesse, good to meet hey, you, Jesse. Yeah, oh, there he is. So these are some of our CNC machines over here. What we can do is we can put a part on there, and then there's a bit that goes in the top and the bit can move around automatically and cut pieces out of that part so we can make 3D aluminum shapes by subtraction instead of adding like a 3D printer. Right, so you guys couldn't spring for the CMX 51U? No, I think our budget was a little limited when we purchased this big guy. I thought you guys were uptown. It would have been like two or three more dollars. Mm. Over here's our goofy St. Pat's mobile. St. Patrick is the patron saint of engineers. So our is town he? goes insane oh. during St. Patrick's Day. I spy a rocket. Yes. Rocket team, so you, got, you saw our video with uh, our collaboration with them where we launched a drone out of a rocket, right? Yeah, yeah. That rocket is the orange one in the corner back there, the tall orange so one. So that's the one that had the drone inside? Yep. And then it separated and the drone came out? And Ish. Flew and then the college got mad that you did that? The college was okay with it. They thought it was really cool. It was the FAA that had it. Oh, the FAA. Problem. Boy, those, yeah. those sour pusses are always... Who needs them? Yeah. If we don't so, do I guess we kind of do, though. Maybe a little bit. Hey, how are you guys going to deal with uh, RID? on March 15th. Oh, so. so we actually just installed a remote ID module on our big drone. We're using the CubePilot um, serial remote ID because we have a GPS on the drone, so it can just output that data straight out from okay. the, the Mavlink connection. Okay. But our, our racing quads, we have an all-in-one little module we found on GoodFPV that we're just gonna slap on. You just slap them on. Yeah. But I mean, I guess you have to. Gotta Com comply. Gotta comply. We are looking to get a Freya out here eventually. Can so. you do that? That was gonna be one of my great questions. So they have a <laughs> option for educational Freyas, mm -hmm. and we'd love to have that so we can support our hobby and support people in the, the area that wanna come out and fly. How do you get FAA approval to send one of these up in the ionosphere? Well, they'll need a temporary flight restriction because of how high they go. They don't want to hit any, any planes going overhead. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to impale a Delta. No. You don't want to do that. How high would the, something like this go? Hey, guys, how high does this one go? Uh, that one's 30,000 feet. 30,000? 30, Lots of the teams have different sponsors. So that's how we make our money. Oh, yeah? They have a really, really cool, really, really secret sponsor. A secret sponsor? Secret sponsor. So Mensa, maybe? Mensa, can Mensa sponsor anybody? MIT, CIA, we can't talk about it. Talk about it. Classified. Classified. All right. It's if it's crazy. the CIA, don't say anything. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Behind us over here is Concrete Canoe. That doesn't make any sense. Put what? two words together, does it? You know it actually does. It does? It does. Really? And I'm sure you're aware the history of, of the U.S. Navy and their concrete <laughs> uh, right? Sure. You know about the, conc the, about the concrete destroyer or whatever yeah, it was? I know, I know it didn't go well. Th it didn't. They also made one out of, I forget what they call it, you know, the mixture of ice and sawdust. What is that called? I'll put it on the screen. But, you know, at the end of World War II, we are running out of steel, so we couldn't make ships. Right. But they made them out of concrete, and they made them out of uh, sawdust and ice, believe it or not. <laughs> and now you've done the same thing here. There you go. How heavy is this? Uh, I don't know. We can't touch it right now because I think right. it's still drying. It's still okay, but it floats. It does. It actually floats even when it's completely full of water. That is buoyant concrete. Wait, 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 wait. So you can't sink this? Cannot sink it. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> These guys build crazy bikes, so they're trying to race people. So they developed a system which, and it's locked right now, and I don't know how to unlock it, but the bike can actually tip back and forth in parallelogram. Yeah, so yeah. So as you're hitting a corner, you can lean your body all the way in and keep your center of gravity real low and zip around that corner without losing any speed. These are awesome. Would you like to ride this one? Yes! Oh, yeah. Oh, this is nice. This is, you guys do fun stuff. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Audio! Oh no! <laughs> I got you. We're Minor Aviation. Every year we build a new RC plane. We participate in the AIAA's Design Build Fly competition. Okay. So this is actually our prototype of our competition plane this year. This is, we're manufacturing our wings for our competition aircraft. Yeah. So some of the missions we have are carrying little passengers, which little some passengers? of our members are painting right now. These are our patients. We also have to fit in a two and a half foot wide parking space. So in order to get around that and still have our five foot wingspan that we wanted, 
we are actually integrating a folding mechanism into the wings. Whenever the parts are together, they just fold up just like so, and then we can unfold them to fly. I love everything in here. Can I stay forever? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Trey, what's this? What's this? This is underwater robot. <gasps> they kind of do what we do, except underwater instead of up in the air. Obviously, electronics and water don't mix, so they have a whole lot of other different challenges that they have to overcome for that. This is this is Combat Robot, if you want to check out their stuff, oh. too. All right, so we can't the, say... The, the funny robot fighting TV show. We can't say battle... This is an old typewriter, clearly. Yep. That, uh, okay. Usually. This is a toaster. toaster. Right. This is a, a Roomba. Yep. Right. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the old lawnmower, the blades need sharpening. Right. Uh, as was this, is the first iteration of this. And then over here, oh, this is the, uh, the shredder, where you put your, your documents in there and just shreds it up, right? Exactly, that's it. I'm Got smart, it. see? Who are the coolest kids in this room? Who, who are they? Multi-rotor. Let's go over there. Okay. Welcome to the drone reveal. This is our event where we're going to unveil our brand new autonomous delivery drone. Okay. Right now we've got a whole bunch of stations set up for different students to show off their projects they've been working on. Some wow. related to the drone, some not, as well as some of our old drone frames you got in the middle right there. Okay, yeah. This is the drone that we got to launch out of the rocket that I showed you a little okay, so video. Okay, so that gets packed up into the rocket. Yep, Guardian. Guardian was our first prototype for this new guy that we're doing. Uh, everything we do is competition based, and you'll hear about that uh -huh. a little bit during the presentation, but right. this is our very first attempt. What's your name, sir? My name is Alex. And uh, where are we flying right now? We're flying at the new Innovation Center at Missouri University of Science and Technology. There's a lady in front here. She's got blonde hair and glasses. See if you can get stuck in her hair. <laughs> when, I was, when I was like seven or eight, I used to get these Air Hogs helicopters. That's what really got me into the hobby of flying. Um, and I used to just fly them recklessly. I remember one time my aunt came down from Boston and I ended up tangling it in her hair within like three minutes of flying. It was crazy. She loved it, right? Uh-huh, 100%. She laughed and laughed and laughed. Yeah, it's a story we still tell at Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's not too bad. It's not. Oh, yeah. I want to see if I can see the Hey. Oh, this is great. I'm going to fly at head level because that's safe. Should I go under the stairs? Yeah, you can go under. Okay. We've got free reign. This actually, can I go under the table? Yeah, you definitely can. I've even gone under that little railing. That's a oh, this is what a great space to fly in. Is it in Acro? Yeah, it's in Acro. Okay, so I can. <laughs> I can flip it. Do I can dive? I'm diving. <laughs> so the secret thing is over here. Yeah. I don't want to show everybody that. Oh. It's covered. You're good. No, no I'm not going to do it. <laughs> hey, Chris, I'm going to disarm. Right? You're going to catch me? Where are you? Chris, I'm going to disarm. Yeah, go right? Ready go and. You got me. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that time has come. If you would please turn your attention to the left for the reveal of our 2024 SUAS drone. And flight time. The 2024 SUAS drone is Goose. All right, serious question, okay? Yes. How many toddlers can this lift? Because, you know, I, I gauge a drone on how many toddlers. We, we weigh things by toddlers. How many? One, two? What's toddlers, what, 10 pounds? So you're looking at like mm, maybe eight or nine? Two, let's say. That's a good metric. Two and a half toddlers. Two and a half, yeah, yeah. For, for all the halves of toddlers that people yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I fly it? No. Okay. Uh, Not a chance. <laughs> Thanks for having me here, man. I appreciate you yeah, inviting glad, me. Glad this you got to come out. That's absolutely awesome. absolutely wonderful. Hey, man, so we got permission to, to rip the campus? We did. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Uh, yeah, uh, so you're not allowed to usually fly uh, drones around the campus? Usually not. Usually not. They don't, uh, they don't like us flying over students because I don't, I don't know. Why are they letting us today? Because you're here. Well, let's do it. <laughs>
What do you think of that? You can drop in from the top. I think there's no way I can do that. I, no I promise I won't break your school. Oh, please have at it. <laughs> 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 Hello! <laughs> Were these built on the CAD machine? Yes, we, we actually built cake with a 3D printer. You 3D printed this cookie? I really wish that we had. That would have been very cool. I don't want to do this anymore, Trey. I'm feeling a bit no? lazy. Ah! So these go 40 miles an hour? I believe so. And your little solar car goes 40 miles an hour? I believe so. Well, I think we got to have a drag race between the two. Oh, that is a, how have we not thought of that? That's a really good idea. You guys need to call me. Please tell me you're calling it Canoe Creek. Please. I wish. It's that not a really good pun. Nobody calls me on these things. If you need to name something and you want it to be a pun. I'll give you your, I'm, give you your call. I'm your guy, yeah. Do you have smelting? No smelting. No? In not in this, yeah, yeah. But there is smelting there on is campus, campus somewhere? Yeah. This, Missouri ST started out as the School of Mines and Metallurgy. Is that right? Well, of course you have smelting then. We have a ton of smelting. All right. That's a good word, smelting. Smelting. It's fun. Be a good name for a dog, wouldn't it? For sure. Smelting! Dinner! <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs>